What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Buffalo Sabres were picking up where we left off. I had to kind of catch myself up a bit, read through all the comments, kind of look back at what the hell was going on. We are having a great year, 44, 14, and 4, and I do want to thank you guys for your patience uh, throughout this whole moving process. It, uh, it takes longer than you think, and you find out you have way more crap than you thought you ever did. <laughs> anyway, so we're back now, and uh, I'm very happy about that. So before we get started, I'm going to read off a couple comments here. First one from Andrew Freeman. Don't give anyone up or add anyone. You don't have any holes to fill. Just keep trusting the process. The team is performing well. Why change it? And you know what? I agree. When you look at our lines here, I don't think that we need anything. You know, we're still building for the future. We got Marov, we got McGrath, Eichel, Middlestat, even Nylander still. Uh, he's got an 84 overall right now. And, uh, you know, we got Reinhardt. We still have a very young team. Speaking of which, Ovechkin is doing great this year. And people were saying we should bring him back for another year. So we will be doing that. I'll be offering him a contract after this. But, I mean, yeah, you look at this team and I don't see anything really out of place. Our defensive core, I mean, everything's working right now. Sure, it might not be the best of everyone. But it's working. And, uh, of course, Olmark in there. We're going to hope he continues to play well. Lukanen's dropping back to that backup role. We're going to keep uh, the goalie rotations on manual and keep that up. And, yeah, I, I don't see any holes to fill either. All right, next up, um, ST777. Oh, yeah, Stove. <laughs> Stove. He says, uh, you should look at Quentin Byfield's offensive stats. And if they are high, you should probably trade Nylander for picks. Then move up one of your fourth-line guys who deserve more ice time. Uh, and then slot Blyfield anywhere on the fourth line. Okay, well, first, before I continue here, I don't know that any of these fourth liners, quote-unquote, deserve more ice time. Uh, Gergens is Bachensky, Berglund. Bachensky, probably, but uh, he's still listed as fourth line. He's 20 years old at, eight, at, uh, at uh, 80 overall. I don't want to bring him along too quickly. All right, continuing here. Um, the thing with Nylander is... is is that he has the value he has, but he hasn't become the player we'd expect out of him. I did also change Nylander to a low elite instead of the medium elite that he is. So, um, yeah. Anyway, you could capitalize hugely on his trade value before he gets lower because of his overall and potential. If he is offensively touted, then... Wait, wait a sec. Yeah, if he is offensively touted, then play him in the NHL. I think what's happening is that the juniors is doing absolutely nothing. I think you mean the AHL? Or... Put him on the power play and elsewhere if you want. I think you mean... Uh, are you talking about the AHL? That they're doing absolutely nothing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I, could, I mean, he would probably get claimed, though. But here's the thing about Nylander. He actually doesn't have that good a trade value because he is not a medium elite as he, as he is naturally in this game. We, we decreased him because... Uh, as was suggested. So that's not that much. We get maybe a first. And it's going to be a late first. So I'd rather hold on to him and wait and see. You know, he's on a one-year deal, sure. I mean, we could always sign him. But again, I really like Nylander. Is even if he doesn't get to second line, he'll be a terrific third liner. Look at his defensive stats. 87, 75, 83. Those are pretty good. You know, stick checking's a bit low. Shot blocking you don't need for forwards. His offensive stats are great. 90 and 87. A good shot. Great skater. You know, it's just he's... Yeah, he might not become the second liner, but I'd really enjoy this guy for a utility goal-scoring role. You know, another option for the power play, a guy on the third line who could put up some points. I, you know, I really like him, even if he doesn't become a second liner. So, I do definitely see where you're coming from, but I think you were maybe thinking that he had medium elite value. And, but he doesn't because we, we change him from a medium to a low elite to more realistically reflect his... Uh, his upsides here. He was drafted eighth overall, sure, but you think in this game, people going eighth overall are usually top sixes, so him being a low elite is even still better than that. All right, so that takes care of uh, just about everything with the comments and all that. So, first things first, we're not trading anyone, but what we got to do here is uh, try to get Ovechkin back here. Ovechkin's got to come back, you guys are saying, and I agree. I think he's a huge part of this team here, and I do, do have... Um, did offer a wrist line in a deal. Now he does want to come back here. Perfect. So let me actually do some maths, quick maths on that and see what we can get him for. What the hell was his asking price again for one year? I think it was 8.3. Yes, 8.3. So let's see. We should be able to get him for, wow, just like we can get him for 7.1 for a year. 
and actually lower than that, 775, I think, 7075, I should say. <laughs> yeah, we can get them for that for a year. That's a very good price. That's a very good price. Pretty much covers Ristolainen. Now, we didn't, uh, didn't extend Barry, and Skinner is a bit interesting. Do we want to extend him? I don't think I offered him. I doesn't have the thing next to him, although, yeah, Ristolainen does, so... Who else? Uh, yeah, Nylander does. We've extended him. Mayorov, you extended him. But yeah, I think I think Skinner was actually not wanting that much, so I might as well kind of extend him because he'll be making yeah tremendous. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, and you guys were saying don't don't care. <laughs> Just give him those ridiculous deals. Now this takes him up to he's 33. Now this could indicate that he's going to be declining quickly, but he's 86 overall. This is going to be a third line deal by the time he's coming off his uh, he's coming off this contract anyway. I think this is incredibly worth it now of course he doesn't want the extension but again was it four by five it will have to be that's nothing for a player like skinner in my opinion what was he asking for nine mil in real life <laughs> he is doing pretty damn good don't get me wrong but damn four by five now this takes him up till he's 33 or 34 this is very good deal i think that we want to try for that too it's, it'll save us two mil on his current contract. We'll definitely have some space. We'll have, you know, we'll be able to trade that off. That's an incredibly affordable contract for his skill set. We still have some guys, you know, a couple more years on entry level on their lower contracts, their lower tier stuff. I think we're in great position. We've already extended Lukanen. I think we're lining him up with Olmark. So I think we should just, from here, sim towards the playoffs. We will be a playoff team. And just keep it up, man. I mean, what else can you say? This team's doing great right now. And I, I can't... Okay, there's a back-to-back -back coming up here. So, we have Olmark in. We're going to want to give uh, Lucan in this uh, other game. Probably play him against... Yeah, play him against Florida. That is the weaker team. So, let's do that. Let's go past the deadline here. No looking back here. Past the deadline. No trades. Don't need them. Nylander accepted. Let's see. I hope Ristolainen accepts that deal. We're getting him, like, a really amazing deal. <laughs> For us, I mean. Yeah, there's some team-friendly guys on this team. I like it. I'm loving it. Okay. The sim is taking forever. Maybe it's just firing itself back up. It's been a while. It's been a while. But that's taking far too long. Might have to do some editing here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Skinner accepted. Wow, four by five for Jeff Skinner. Ristolainen accepted. I forget what we got him, like seven or seven and a half. It's ridiculous. And Ovechkin accepted. And Lukanen accepted. Mayrov accepted. We are... And Stetcher is on waivers. Hold on. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No thanks. Decline. All right. Ooh, we lost that game. Ooh, that's a big, big loss right there. Time for Lukanen to get a start. That's a good... Like, that's a decent game for Olmark, but we just didn't score. That game we didn't score, but we also got blown out. So, not the greatest. I bet Lukanen came in in a mop-up role and probably allowed some more goals. <laughs> Lukanen still got stuff to work on. He's a work in progress for sure. Alrighty, let's uh, quick swap. And we'll just advance a day here. Hopefully Lukanen gives, gives us a win right here. We want to break that streak. Not a good streak to be on. There, ooh, shutout! Alright, now begs the question, do we give him another game? You just shut him out. I think we give Lukanen another game. Or should I just take him out? You know what? I'm going to take him out. He's played enough. Let's just, let's give him some confidence. Be like, yes, you got to shut out. Let's not have him in for another bad game. That helped him out. That helped his numbers. All right, Omar, his numbers dropped. Hopefully he continues here. <laughs> How he did it before the downline, which was playing very, very good. We hope he continues that and he doesn't fall off here. Is there back to back coming up way up there? So you know what? Let's just go in a, ch let's go by a chunk here. Let's get this chunk of games done, reassess, see how he's doing, see if we need to throw Lukanen in there for a start. That's a great game for him. Mm, decent game. And that's a good game. We're just not scoring right now. There you go. That's a good one. Okay, you know, he seemed to faltered a little bit in that one. Allowed four goals. Tyson Berry's been injured. Pulled groin, luckily not too long. March 22nd. We, this is not the time for injuries right now. Really don't want it. So, who hops up? He's still got top six. We could just throw in our depth. Bull, you could just hop in and play everywhere he is, but he's on power play and stuff. But we don't have any other good power play option, really. So it just makes sense. It's not for too long. Bull, you will just hop in there. It's easier. We have a tremendous record. I'm not too worried about it. Another win. I think I'm going to throw Lucanin in here for a game. That's two four goal, uh, 
four goal outings for him. So we'll throw Lucan in, in here for a game. Should have probably just got up so I could use advanced day more efficiently, but eh. Advanced day is at least better than it was last year, slightly, even though the game does seem to slow down. And it was mentioned, maybe I should delete some saves files, but I really don't have that many. I think I, I think I even, actually, I don't know if I've deleted the Seattle one yet. That might be something I should do. Although it's so tough, you know what I mean? Like, I like to hold on to those save files, like revisit them every now and then. Sometimes I sim a few years on my own. All right, let's see what's going on with this scout here. I had a, I had a feeling we weren't getting much scouted, as I recall. Well, there's a good one. Medium elite. Looking like he'll be going somewhere in the fourth round. Christensen, left-handed, maybe a two-way forward. Left wing, good work ethic, good maturity. Looks like he lacks the skating, but looks like he'll mesh well in any locker room. You like to see that. But that's so far our only steal. I'm hope I don't think we had any low elites last we checked. I'm hoping there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, some seventh rounders. Pedro Playfair. What a name. Both of them defensemen. Right-handed, left-handed. Not too bad. Two-way guy. No. <laughs> No strengths, uh, very loyal, but can lack the drive to win. I'm not a fan of that, but mm, maybe may good for trade value. Good character, good maturity. It's neither here nor there. Can struggle with desire to win. God damn it. <laughs> Both of these guys struggle with the desire to win. That's obviously not great. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, that's why you do those character assessments. Nice win right there for Luke. And then, you know what? We didn't do it to him last time. Let's give him, do we give him another one? Is he going to have a bad outing? No, we got a back-to-back -back coming up. Let's not give him another one. Let's play this smart. Let's play it smart here. Let's keep. Let's just keep help trying to build that confidence in him. Talking like this is real life, but I like to do it. Keeps me engaged. That's 50 goals for Ovi already. Holy hell. <laughs> let's see. That'll be three. Yeah, let's give three games here to Olmark. Unless he does horribly and I have to stop it. That's a good game. Good offensive uh, performance there. All right. Tyson Berry's back. Just throw him right back in. We didn't even really notice he was gone. I mean, we played pretty damn well through that stretch. I mean, what, uh, how about those four goal outings, though? Were they when we were missing Barry? actually? I think they might. Yeah, I think they were, actually. That's a big win right there. Nice. Ugh. Well, get him out of the way before the playoffs. That's all I can say. Sam Reinhardt, injured wrist, the 30th of March. So he'll be back relatively quickly, but that leaves a gaping hole in our team. So what do we do here? McGrath up. Nylander up. I hate splitting them, but that's what's going to have to happen. Again, then I'll just probably throw in our depth guy here. Magnus Pyarvi. I think he has deep. No, he doesn't. He's pretty trash. Bergman will go up, I guess. Pyarvi. I kind of feel like I need to put someone else on that power play, too. I'll sub him in all lines. I'll even put him on the three on three. I'll move up Skinner, though. Yeah. Move up Skinner. I'll have him on the three on three. And maybe just mess with the power play. So he's on that top unit for the power play. We don't have what's his name in. The, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in that uh, McGrath guy because he's not on the power play right now at all. We took him off because in favor of Mayorov. But we'll, we'll try him on the top unit. You know, let's let's see how he does on the top unit. So he's got some time on the top unit. So that's all I got to. I just remember the top unit and the three on three. That's all I got to do for the injury here. But yeah, this is a tough call. He is getting top line time now too. And maybe I don't want to do that because that screws up what we were doing here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put Nylander up there instead. Nylander is going to get that time. McGrath will play second line because we need another passer there. That's what was helping Ovechkin so much. That's in the... All right. Three wins in a row for Omar. Great. No more than two goals allowed. This guy is going to get some stat, stat growth, man. He, if he doesn't, I'll be very surprised. My God, Ovechkin is just wrecking face. 92 points. I don't know if he'll crack 100, but he's got eight games to do so I mean very possible very possible all right Luke in time for another good game time for another good game out of you come on now another big game you know what I'll get I'll take it you know you left three goals but we got the W in overtime and we're 53 18 and four I think that was a four unreal killing it right now killing it all mark goes right back in and uh, Reinhardt will be coming back. He'll miss two more games, and then hopefully that's it for our injuries. So, you know what? Let's just sim up to this next back-to-back uh, -back sequence here. And we're almost out of the woods here. Nice victory right there. A lot of goal scoring. Let's see if we can tighten up a bit defensively. Not so much. Sam Reinhardt is back. All right, good. We need him. All right, so let's switch things up here. Oop, right up at the top. There we are. 
And then for the power play, I don't know if McGrath got anything. I think he only had, hmm, I don't know if he had four points or if he actually had those six points on the power play from before. I can't remember. Should have checked that, but I'm not going to leave him there, obviously. I just kind of wanted to maybe see how he did on that top unit. All right, so we're back. We're all back. That's good. All right, so a tough loss right there. And those two games where he allowed three goals. Oh, Mark, he's going to have a better game here against New Jersey. There it is. And he's going to have a good game against Boston. There it is. All right. And then he'll be off right here and then get the last two games. Actually, I'm going to check how many games played he has. Yep, Ovechkin cracked 100. My God. <laughs> he did it. He did it. How many games played? Because I want to make sure that Old Mark actually gets enough games played. Oh, perfect. Yeah, 50 games played. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you know, that's fine. Stick Lucan in in here for this next game. Give Olmark the last two. I don't know if we'll get stat growth. His stats kind of shot up a bit right there. But we'll see. Phew. Lucan in. Killing it, man. Absolutely killing it. He's done great since we've gone back to having Olmark as a starter. He's done just fantastic. I mean, Olmark. Yeah, well, I mean, just remember, he was above three goals against and stuff like that. Like, he's done really good. Might actually, no, you know what, let's give it back to Omar. Hopefully he has a really good two games right here. Get him back towards a 2.3, because right now, I don't, know, I don't know if that'll be good enough for stat growth. He kind of fell off a bit right there. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Yikes, come on now. Two two great games. Come on, come on, come on. Shut him out. Shut him out. Get get a shutout in one of these, man. That'd be huge. Ugh. Yeah. Nah, nope, not. I don't know, man. Now I don't know. And we got... A regulation loss there at the end to get us to 20. Damn, I wanted to keep below 20 reg losses. You know, it's not, again, it's not a big deal if Olmark doesn't get stack growth. You know, he's doing what we need out of him. All right, so we're facing New Jersey here in the first round of the playoffs. They must have just squeaked in. And I want to make sure that he's in there. <laughs> I believe he is. Yeah, he's in there for the last two games. What am I doing? Yeah, okay. Let's check it out. Let's see how our team did throughout this year. Let's see what the, all the stats are like. All right, so won the division, might have won the presidents. 3.71 goals for per game, 2.63 goals against. Power play percentage, 27.2. Penalty kills, 79.3, which isn't great, but look at all the penalty kills this year. They're very low. All the penalty kills are very low throughout the entire league, so... We're a kind of average for our penalty kill with how things have gone this year. So, not too bad. Wow. 39, 9, and 1 on home ice. 27, 11, and 3 on the road. Last 10, 8, and 2. Could be considered a slump. <laughs> yeah. 120 points, man. Was that good enough for presidents? Yes, indeed. It was by 9 points. Buffalo. 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 What a turnaround. Kind of like what they're doing this year, man. Where did this 8-game winning streak come from? Buffalo fans, please tell me. My goodness. You guys are on fire right now. It's pretty crazy. I got a comment on the first episode of this one. Like, huh, why are you rebuilding? We're in first in the division. Well, could anyone have guessed? <laughs> could anyone have guessed that Buffalo would be doing as good as they have are doing right now? Probably not. My goodness, though. So. so good on you, Buffalo. You guys have suffered long enough, so good on you. All right, here we are. Man, Reinhardt still got 100 points even despite missing three games. Look at these point totals. Ovechkin, 106 points, 56 goals. Holy crap. Sam Reinhardt had 80 assists. I I don't know if I've seen an assist total that high. I might have, but that is insane. 101 points for him, 21 goals, 80 assists. That's some Joe Thornton shit right there. Sam Reinhardt. Holy crap, just entering his prime. We got him on a pretty team-friendly deal for a couple more years. We'll see what he wants after that. Jack Eichel, point-of-game guy, you know, 87 points, 34 goals, 53 assists. Got to earn that 10 mil a bit better, though, though. <laughs> middle stat, 16, nice. Nice point totals there, middle stat. 11 goals, 58 assists. Jeff Skinner, 30 goal scorer, and he hit 50 points. So, you know what? Not too bad at all. Uh, McGrath, 23 goals, 50, uh, 25 assists for 48 points. Nylander had 43. So, Nylander didn't quite hit uh, hit that 50-point uh, mark, but he was third line. So, keep that in mind. Yes, he had power play time, but he was third line. So, 10. Yeah, 10 of those points came on the power play. So, uh, McGrath, on the other hand, was second line. 
uh, some power play time. So, again, but he was, he's still young. So, you know, I have faith that this guy will get better. He had a 20 goal year. I mean, you can't really be mad at a guy. He had two more games. Who's, who's to say that he wouldn't get two, you know, two points in those two games? You never know. Uh, Mayorov, 25 goals. Yeah, I'll have him on my third line. Thank you very much. Tage Thompson at 35 points total. Not too bad for Tage. Hopefully he caps out around this third line. He'll be a great third line center. Just look at how he's built. Perfect third line center. Bachensky, 15 goals, 29 points on that fourth line. Those are impressive numbers for a 20-year-old. Definitely. Uh, Pyarvi was the only minus. He had 60 games played. Berglund. <laughs> there you go. All right, and defensively, whoa, we have ourselves a tie. Now, that is doesn't happen too often, and for, especially for defensemen. Holy crap, man. Ristolainen and Rasmus Dahlin both with 62 points, plus 59 and plus 55, with the best defensive pairing in the NHL, hands down. You, can, you, can they split the Norse, please? Because they both deserve it. I, how do you even, like, what are we going to do here? Like... I mean, they're, they're, they might not even have the most points, so let's let's start with that. But Barry had 47 points. Gooley, everyone was a plus besides Bolu, who was our depth guy. Good thing he's our depth guy. <laughs> everyone else is a plus. Good stuff right there. And Olmark, great year. Still at 82 overall. I don't know if it updates right now or later, but he had a great year. I mean, that's that's solid. And Lukanen steadily improved. He had 20 wins on the year. They split time really well. Three shutouts for Lucan and only one for Olmark. So he's not, you know, he's definitely, he's going to be a solid backup. Once Lukanen is comfortable in that crease, I think next year he will be. I think next year he'll be a solid starter for us. And I think he'll, if he doesn't, then, well, <laughs> we got to start looking elsewhere for a number one goaltender. Because I heard number one goaltenders are important. All right, and our rookies this year with McGrath with 48 points, Pachensky as well, and Erhoff. But yeah, highly unlikely we're going to be taking home a Coulter. All right, so let's check out the entire league now. Ovechkin, oh my, oh my God. We killed everyone. Ovechkin and Reinhardt, the, the number one duo in the NHL. Oh, they had, he had to come back for another year with this. My gosh. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he Fuck off, Wallstrom. <laughs> Oliver Wallstrom at age 21 is apparently going to have a... Uh, 58 goal season. Get 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 hyped. Get hyped, New York. I mean, he's playing with Barzal. That's got to be it. And also, never mind. No. I'm thinking. <laughs> I was thinking what, how it was uh, in the last franchise where things weren't updated. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> that's a thing. Assists. No one's even close. 14 assists ahead of Mitch Marner with 80. And goals tied. Are Ovechkin and Wallstrom, so they're, I, they, I think they're going to be splitting that Maurice Richard. So I don't, this is the first time Ovechkin's going to had to share that Maurice with someone else. But you know, the, uh, the the young trying to kick out the old, but the old is saying, "Fuck you guys! I got some more left in me." Fifty-eight goal season for Alexander Ovechkin. That is insane. Plus minus. Yep, there we are. 55, 50, 46. Get wrecked, everyone else. We beat everyone else by twelve or more. On <laughs> the plus minus side of things. That is the best line of the NHL right here. Ovechkin, Eichel, Reinhardt. That is hands down the best line in the NHL. We have it. Insane. Who's the most clutch? Kucherov tied with McDavid with 10 game winners. Ovechkin was down there with 9. Power play goal leader was McDavid with 18. Interesting. Power play point leader, Sagan with 34. I, 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 we have two units going ham. There's Hughes. Oh, God. Hughes is in the NHL. <laughs> I wonder if he's playing with Ovechkin or pff, McDavid. Yikes. <laughs> oh, man. I got to just have my uh, Pacific Scout. Uh, I was going to say a specific scout because I was going to say have my Pacific Scout specifically scout him. Dude, say that five times fast. Have my Pacific Scout specifically scout him. Specific uh, nope, I already fucked up. Well, let's move on before I embarrass myself any further. Uh, Shorthanded goals. Rue pins with four shorties. And uh, he was tied for the points, too, with five total points shorthanded. Roop hints. Central. Love their shorties, evidently. Okay. All right, let's check out the defensive stuff here for the forwards. Takeaways of Sam Reinhart. Dude, I like him. Looks like Nico Heischer going to take another crack at that uh, 
Selkie, but McDavid and O'Reilly have the better faceoff percentages, and they, the game really seems to like that. So McDavid and Riley very close. We'll have to see between plus minus of these two because I think they're going to take it away. Ugh, I'd, I'm probably going to give it to O'Reilly. Most likely giving that to O'Reilly. They love their faceoff percentage for the Selkie. Oh, look at Sam Reinhardt's faceoff percentage. <laughs> oh, man. Don't get kicked out of the dot there. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name? God damn it. Ovech. Uh, no, Eichel. Jesus. All right. Let's check out the fenceman here. Come on. No. Wait. Oh, my. Fuck. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, who's going to win the Norris? Neither of these guys. Hiskinen. Wow. 75 points on that back end. Plus 39. It looks like they've uh, updated defensemen actually getting points because it wasn't quite like this in years past. Eric Carlson was 60. Where the hell's Burns? Do you retire some shit? There he is. 45 points only. The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you have two offensive defensemen. <laughs> all right, but still, man, I love this pairing. Like, this is the, but you have to consider all these other guys, they're probably the guy getting points on their pairing. This is one pairing. One pairing of Ristolainen and Dolan, who got 124 points between the two of them on one pairing. On, and plus that first line. I mean, oh, geez. The best. Just the best top five in the NHL. My God. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right, but let's see. Sometimes they screw around here. But with that plus minus, with probably the, oh, the hits, the blocks. Oh, yeah, Hiskinen is just, pff, no one's even close. No one's even, a lot of giveaways, sure. But no one's even close. Hiskinen's getting that Norris hands down. All right, let's check out the goalies here. See, what we got. I can't remember anyone's freaking <laughs> guesses here, so I'm gonna have to read it back before the free agency video. Oh my! Okay, we got a couple. I think that's Holtby and Hellebuck. I think that's the tie right there. Those are those are our two right there. Holt, Holtby and Hellesuck, and uh, everyone else. Nope, that's it. Yeah, I'd say that's the tie right there. Holtby and Hellesuck. Holtby played 74 games. My God, someone get that man a bench. <laughs> uh yeah I, I I'm, I'm not seeing anything else that any other maybe x factors i would come to play long fist doesn't have many wins you could say oh he's carrying that shit team he's got six shutouts nah, still it's it feels like maybe 2.15 i'd maybe consider it and like with a couple points higher on that save percentage but nah i'd still think say it's between uh holt being uh oh god cord's getting tied up in my controller holt being hellebuck there all right let's see the rooks Let's see the rooks here. Uh, Foreman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Formanton? He does have top six potential, but damn. 61-point rookie year for Formanton. Valcourt. This guy is the franchise guy. Yeah. Didn't do too well. F only 54 points on the Canucks. He is competing for a lot of ice time there. Then left for in the air. With a 54. Why does that guy look like he's 25? Dude, you can't even tell me that Lafreniere doesn't look like he's in his mid-20s. Holy crap. <laughs> That's actually very surprising. But uh, he's got plenty of time to get better as well. All right, so that takes care of that. And let's see the fun stats now. All right, so hits. That would be 185 for Evander Kane. Tied with uh, Jacob Truba there. Evander, having some fun there in San Jose. Laying the body. All right, fights. Uh, oh, my God. Who? <laughs> Curtis McDermott. What the hell? We have a new Dachin. We have a new Boryansky. 19 fights, and then Lucic with four. What the hell? McDermott? <laughs> Who's he fighting? Just everyone. Everyone comes into the building, has to fight McDermott. That's a rule. Like, everyone else is in the West. Yeah, look at that. Everyone else is in the West. That <laughs> doesn't even make sense. He just fought everyone once. <laughs> what the hell, McDermott? How you, How is that even possible? Holy shit. Hey, let's, let's say for funsies, let's just check out the AHL. For, there we go. <laughs> There's Borietsky. <laughs> Oh, man, those fight totals always crack me up. 
dodging down there. Oh man, craziness, absolute craziness. All right, let's check the progress reports here and prepare for the playoffs. And I don't know how good we're going to do here. You know, we are... Uh, we're still young in a lot of ways, but... I'd say we got a chance to still do pretty good. So, Marov grew. Everyone else is pretty much statistical, but let's see what Marov did. Yeah, a little bit here and there. Skating went up. Shot got a bit harder. That's good. He didn't have the hardest of shots, so that's good. Solid growth. Ooh, Bachensky has grown. Didn't get an over ugh, excuse me, an overall change, but he's looking good. I can't stop hiccuping right now. That's gonna be an issue. Alright, let's check in the system now. There we go. Oh my goodness. That Bailey guy, Bale. Bali. <laughs> Bale. I don't know. Bailey. I don't fucking know. Uh 72 overall now. 19 years old. Another left-handed defenseman. This guy is also a left-handed defenseman. Son of a bitch. Trading value. But they're growing so well. Ow. Oh, well. That's how it goes. Uh, Jeffrey Nugent Hopkins. 73 at 18 is a low elite. I mean, that's a lot of growth here. Holy hell. What an insane... We got an insane amount of growth here at the end. It started very slow, but look at this. Look at that shit. Holy. There's that top four guy up to 67 overall. Did we draft him like what in the... I think we drafted him like just after the top 10, I want to say. Didn't grow a huge, huge amount, but he's still young. He's got time. Steckel, 20 at 64. Not amazing. Thompson, 75 at 21. Did grow. Let's sort by potentials here to see if we're missing anyone. Byfield, unfortunate. But the good thing is, don't worry. 77, still only 19 years old. So... I'm not too concerned about that. They usually still grow, even if they're down there. We've had guys grow to, like, mid-80s. Remember, uh, who the hell was it? Wilcox in Seattle grew up to, like, 85 not without a contract. <laughs> it's pretty insane. But Byfield here should get it. Hopefully, he gets a jump in the offseason. But we're signing, him, we're signing him next year for sure. So, all right. A bit unfortunate there in that regard, but it's okay. Uh, Dano grew a bit. We don't have any other elite prospects, so we might want to find one here in this next draft just in case because, well, Lukanen, we don't know for sure. You know, it's not a for sure thing, so I think it would be definitely a good idea to look for another one. All right. All said and done. It's time to advance into the playoffs. I know we're facing the Devils. I don't have to check. Devils, what do they got for us? What does New Jersey got for us? There they are. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Taylor Hall, Nico Heischer, Yevgeny Dadanoff, Johansson, Boakfist, Nykvist, uh, Brat, Nash, Zaka, they drop off. Maroon, Smith, Quenville. So they, they got kind of one good line, but I guarantee you that second line is going to put up a tremendous amount of points because that's what they do. They fuck with me like that. Uh, not the strongest of defense, of course, either, although Severson's probably a bit better than this lets on. But still, not the strongest of defense, of course. Corey Schneider is declining. Did do pretty well throughout the series. But he is declining. I think we could beat this team so long as our top line can outplay theirs. And I think we got that capability. I do. I, I think we got that capability, man. I really do. So you know what? You compare them to us. I mean, our first line can compete with theirs. Our second line should beat theirs. Our, th our third line is as good as their second line. So we should be able to get some uh, mismatches here. You got to think. And then... Hopefully our defense can stack up. Hopefully Olmark does well. You know, I won't hesitate to go to Lucan if I need to, but if neither of them do well, I'll probably just have to stick to Olmark. <laughs> Hopefully we get one of them doing well. That's We really need it. We need a goalie to do well here. But all right, time to get started here. We have the home ice advantage. We had a tremendous year. Let's see what we can do here. Buffalo Sabres playoff hockey is back. Game one, lost in overtime, three to two. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to swallow there on home ice. Let's see. Let's bounce back and get ourselves a W here. Oh, a 2-1 to one loss. Not able to score. Goaltending's not the issue here. We're not scoring. We're not. I feel like I need to change something, but what? what's the issue? Who's not? That's two losses there where we could have won if we just fucking scored. Second line hasn't done diddly. Diddly squat on that second line. So you know what? Nylander's going to get that ice time. Nylander's coming up. We actually don't have a shooter. Ugh. 
Skinner's not much of a sh shooter, is he? Yeah, yeah he actually kind of is. Not the biggest shooters, though. What if I did two shooters with middle stat? Could work. Well, we are doing fucking two shooters with middle stat, and it's not working. <laughs> uh, I smart. I mean, first line's doing fine. They've, they're kind of, well, Hobechkin has two points. Jesus. Fourth line, oh my god, I'm, I gotta mix something up here. Let's try that. Let's try Nylander up there. I just, I gotta do something. Something, something's gotta get changed here. And it's, again, it's not even really our goaltending or defense. It's just we didn't produce in those first two games. So let's, it's a minor change, sure, but... Nylander is a leader in our locker room. I do know that, so... God, I hope we don't get swept by this fucking team. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's come back right here on the road. Get ourselves the first win of the series. Come on now, Buffalo. We got this. There you go. A tough one. Defense didn't do too good, but we got the goal scoring. 5-4 to four victory in overtime. Inching our way back. 2-1 to one series. Let's get this second one on the road here, Buffalo. We need it. We need it. There it is. 4-3. to three. And we're scoring goals. Trouble keeping it out of the net, but we're scoring goals. Tied series. Two games apiece. All right. We're making a competitive one out of this. Back at home for game five. We got to win at home. Win at home, Buffalo. Don't do this to your fans. They've been waiting for playoff hockey for... All right. There we go. Two to one. Overtime victory. Olmark had a fantastic game. All right. Game six. We could end it. We could end it. Let's win four straight, baby. Let's win four straight. We can end it right here, right now. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's go, Buffalo. God damn it. McGrath has been injured. I'm just stuffing someone in. I want to see the result of this goddamn game. <laughs> Fire Harvey, get in there. What's happening? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, a tough loss. And we go to game seven. Without McGrath, that sucks. That really sucks. First line is killing it, as we pretty much assumed they would. But we got to go to game seven here without a pretty important piece of our team. Berglund gets to move up. Arby's on the back end here. Ugh. How's this fit? Nope. I was just seeing if Bachensky. I could make some switches here and do that and that. I don't know if it's super necessary, but it gets them all sort of in more natural location center on the right side, left side. Ugh. Tough. This is tough. Well. Time to put up or shut up. We have the cheese goalie, so that should count for something, right? Oh, my God. Let me just do that. Thank you. Simulate up. Come on. Give me my player back. Nope. <laughs> Wishful thinking here. All right. Here we go. Game seven. We have the home ice, though. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's go. Uh oh Kill off a penalty to start things off. We kill it off. We get a power play of our own. Cannot capitalize on it. But Ovechkin from kind of near his spot. The high circle puts one home. It's one to nothing. Another penalty to kill off. We succeed in doing so. But Riley Nash ties the game up at one apiece. We're out shooting them. But the game is tied. Olmark's doing fine. And we're getting a lot of shots here. But Schneider playing well in that crease back there. One to one after one. All right, second period. Let's let's open it. Oh my goodness, too many penalties, but we got a power play. Come on, guys! Damn it! That 27% power play's got to score sometime. It's got to score sometime, but not here. And Dadanoff makes it two to one. Come on, power play again! Holy crap! And Dadanoff makes it three to one. Buffalo, what is happening? Oh, Mark, not doing so well right now. Come on, Buffalo. <laughs> Down by two. Going into the third period. This is our home ice, man. Come on, guys. Big third here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Start with one. Start with one, Buffalo. Come on now. Get us a goal. Get us a goal. Someone's got to step up here. Someone's got to step up here. Come on, Buffalo. Start with one. Oh, it's not looking good here. The crowd urging them on, but New Jersey able to maintain zone time. And Buffalo just can't put on any pressure here. Oh, New Jersey shuts them down in the third period. And that's all she wrote. Losing seven to New Jersey in the first round. That's an upset. When the presidents get knocked out in the first fucking round by this team. Fuck you, Dadanoff. I hate you. Screw you too, Schneider. Ah, it's a tough one. That's a tough one to swallow. We just couldn't get the offense. We struggled throughout that entire kind of series at, at times. Getting cons We didn't have... All right, we got offense. We didn't have consistent offensive output. You know, first two games, two goals, four, one goal, four. Yeah, sure, we get, you know, four goals in regulation, four, four goals in regulation, four, but then one goal in regulation. Yeah, we get three, but our defense doesn't come to play. This game, we can only muster one. You know, it's just we needed it more consistent. 
more consistent offensive output, and that was our downfall. I just I'm struggling to figure out why we couldn't score against them. Was Schneider just lights out? Was it just him? Because their defense was absolute trash. Let's see. We have him scouted now. How did this team beat us? Let's see. Maybe some things will jump out that didn't jump out before. I'm hoping that's the case because when I looked at him the first time, holy hell, they got worse on that second line at least. But fuck this bulk of this guy. How's that defense? Okay, okay, okay. That that makes a bit more sense. Maybe Severson goes up by a couple more. It's still not incredible, but it's not horrible by any means. And Schneider's a fucking 83. You know, he did solid. It's, I guess just a total team effort. What? What's up with their... Okay, he's decent defensively. Reno Riley Nash is a beast defensively. Zaka, he's, he's decent defensively. Quenville, 86. You know what? They had some good defensive forwards. I'll give him that. Maroon, not so much. But they had some good defensive forwards here. Oh, yeah, Johansson, too. Not so much him. Nykvist, not as much. Yeah, of course they do have Heischer. Heischer's always a bitch to play against. And he's great to have on their team. Seattle loved him. But, yeah, Heischer, he's... I mean, he's just... He's a scorer, but he's also a shutdown forward. And that's that's hard. That's hard to beat here. But, yeah, I mean, we, we got outplayed, I guess. You know, we, we made it competitive. I wanted that series win, but Game 7, anything can happen. We just we couldn't get the offense there for our, our home ice fans. It's unfortunate. Olmark didn't actually do amazing, but I didn't feel like... I mean, the games that he didn't do well in, you could say, were games that we won. So can you take a goalie out after winning? Not really, you know? Like, I don't know. These first two games, like, again, only allowed two in regulation. Only allowed two in regulation. Like, that's fine. Like, he, that's why I didn't take him out. We, you know, we won those two games. That's why I didn't take him out. Won that game. Not going to take him out. That game can go either way, sure. It's four goals allowed, but you really going to put in a cold goaltender for a game seven? You know, it's, it's a tough call. So... It sucks. His stats don't look good, but there is definitely a reason for keeping him in there. So, yeah. Tough. Tough call. Or tough end. What can, what can you say? Tough tough end of that. Uh, so what a great... was such a good season. But you know what? We have a bright future. We have Ovechkin back for another year. We can give the old man one more shot at a second ring. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So draft is going to be in the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.